Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So it's finally here. This is Evangelion Thrice Upon a Time. And uh, like if you are new to this channel and you are watching this for the first time, I actually did Evangelion reactions, uh, you know, for the original anime and uh, the Rebuild series as well, the three movies. And I'll be linking down the playlist below. If you have not checked it out and you want to check it out, you can go click on it and you'll find all my reactions, all my Evangelion reactions over there. And I recently completed the, I think it was three or four months ago, I completed the uh, Rebuild series, the third movie and it was a fantastic ride and it, like obviously like i had a bit of a difficulty like everyone to actually understand the show but from the various comments and everything i have quite a clear what can i say picture of the whole thing and even though there are still a few what can i say portions which i'm still not so sure about but they're minute things you know so yeah and uh, like a rebuild series is definitely a complete uh, what can I say the first movie was kind of similar from the second movie it started to change and the third movie was completely different and I'm guessing this is the conclusion to that and uh, it's, as I said it's been a while and so I might have forgotten a few things I kind of watched a summary you know to like get up to date again because as I said like it's been three or four months that I actually saw the third movie. So, and since it's so complex, Evangeline is so complex, I probably forgot a few things. And I'm, I'm kind of up to date now because I saw the recap and, uh, like, you know, I kind of watched a YouTube video to kind of get me up to date. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm ready for, like, reaction, uh, for reacting to this uh, movie. So, this is the final movie in the Rebuild series. I'm really excited how this is going to go and let's check it out so yeah so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started with this movie so, all right so here's the countdown three two one go oh th there's also a recap here that's gonna help quite a bit Oh, and sorry about the outside noise. It's kind of raining heavily from, like, you know, the morning. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, okay, these were the same as in the anime. Then it started to change a little bit. The second movie was kind of different. I think movie one had only one difference where... Boy! God damn. It's raining heavily, I'm sorry about the outside noise. Oh god. Just a sec, guys. All right. Oh, yeah. A new character. I think her name is Mari. Okay, this is where it, everything kind of goes wrong and different from here. Boy, here we go. <laughs> everything goes different here. Relay, okay. I forgot the name. Hmm. 
Brad Shinji. Oh yeah, this is when in Shinji makes another mistake. Even when Kaoru tells him not to pull the spear out, yeah, he does that. Yeah, he stabs himself and... Oh yeah, they are they're in the middle of the desert now. What the Whoa, what's... Whoa, what? Oh, those are ships! If I ate... Someone's still singing the song. Who the? Oh, this is... Who's singing this? <laughs> okay. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. New cre oh my god. Five sixty seconds. Oh it was Mari who was singing. Oh I think so. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wired action. Yeah, it was her who was singing. I was thinking who was singing the song. Boy, whoa, hey, it's a bit PC. God. Wow. Yeah, the animation is fantastic. It's clean and it's...
Oh. Oh no. <laughs> the English. All right. I don't understand that there's no. Oh boy. Well. Whoa, cycle steering wheel. <laughs> wow, the camera uh, motion and everything is like. Boy, this is. Yeah, this is some top tier. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, does it do? Oh no, what the? Come. Hey, this is bad. Oh! Oh boy. Oh. oh okay okay it's breaking apart boy oh uh, oh okay money is here <laughs> I'm guessing it'll take a little time. Yeah, they're storing the energy now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that really is quick. Oh no, we don't have any. Oh! Okay. All right, that, that was the diversion. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Who? Why? <laughs> okay. Boy, the music. <laughs> oh. Okay.
active time remaining okay mission complete all right yeah hmm Okay. <laughs> Puffy boy. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, all right. So we are in this section now. The whole, you know, Ray and Asuka, they are like... Hmm. Wow. Boy, <laughs> Shinji looks <laughs> Completely spent out, like, yeah, who would blame him even, I guess. Not suddenly waking up 14 years later. And, yeah, anyways. Hmm. I, I, I think Asuka should be used to this by now. <laughs> oh, who is this? Who? Well, what the hell? Who the? Oh, I forgot his name. What was his name? Toji, Toji, yeah. Whoa, he has a kid now. Or is that his kid? I don't know. This is a doctor now. Okay. I'm guessing. <laughs> the day. Okay, so they're living here, that means, so... Oh my god, it's like a... Yeah! Village 3, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. Hmm, okay. 
<laughs> Ten of them. Okay. <laughs> Told you knows what can do. Uh, like obviously we can guess who it is. It's the class rep, isn't it? I think so, at least. There you go. I know, yeah, she won't be able to. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> why, why did you shrink her? Like so many nice things are happening and Shinji is depressed at the back. <laughs> Typical Shinji. But as I said, can't blame him. What the? Who the? Who is this? Yeah. Uh, oh, this. Yeah. Oh, really? Damn, she's just not even listening. Oh, yeah, yeah, as I said, like, you know, they're like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, for that, okay. We knew what was happening, but... Near in three one near third impact. Whoa, what is what? Station. The lodge.
Um, what the? Wait, what? Oh, she also she's also here. Okay. I was like, who the hell is this? Chin Ken. <laughs> Oh. Wait, she had... Oh yeah, this is, oh, this is the thing that... Uh, yeah. Like, uh, Misato, okay. Shinji, I'm guessing Shinji is still moping. <laughs> Boy. Standing to see. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> like this really shows that Gendo Yeah, like Gendo did nothing. Like you know <sighs> boy. What the <laughs> God baggage. Eh? Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. There you go. Huh. Oh. Um. Oh no. <laughs> God. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Memorial Bathhouse. 
Um. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's different than LCL. Hmm. Oh boy, Shinji. Oh boy. How Shinji breaks out of this quickly because Oh she looks after them I'm guessing, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh no. Mm, yes. Hmm. Yeah. yeah like it's like like i get it what he's going through but now it's like really kind of like, what else can i say like as i said like i can blame him but at the same time as asuka says like he should really get it together as soon as possible like like at least in this world if As I said, like, you know, as I, as I said, like, I can't blame him, but still, it's frustrating looking at this. I'm sure Asuka also feels the same. You know? Like, she also knows what he's going through, but she's getting frustrated looking at him. Because this is not the first time. He's, he's gone through this multiple times, and, I, and I, I, I'm guessing by this time he should have at least gotten a little used to it, but he's still as weak as ever. Oh, it's, uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> All right. Like, he would be fine if he takes a few days to actually cope up with everything. But the thing is, the time is not here. You know, that the time factor at least in this world in this situation it's not <laughs> oh
Oh, this is a library. Oh, okay. Interesting. It looks looks really aesthetically pleasing, you know, like with a train which is like a library. I don't know why, if, if it's just me or something. <laughs> oh, Chibi and the Pokemon. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Oh, ask, uh, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh. So he, so she's like the not bodyguard, but like a person who's like as he says, protect. Oh, it's his, his that uh the what's it called the Walkman thing that he used to listen to music. Come on, Shinji, please, like. Oh, the hedgehog's dilemma, you know, people can't come, come close to him. Like, I was going to say, like, someone needs to be by his side, but then I remembered. Oh, the hedgehog's dilemma. Yeah, th this is not how you could, you know, uh, get him to open up. People come close to him. He himself gets hurt and hurts others as well. Like, it really, like, look at this, like, it's like, they're rebuilding the whole place and everything. And then there is Gendo Ikari, who, like, boy, like... Wow, so beautiful. The visuals are stunning.
This is definitely one of the most visually pleasing anime movies I've ever seen. How many days have passed? He's still there? <laughs> she brings him food every day. <laughs> Yeah. No, he he knows that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh boy. No, he's doing neither. Oh, come on. It's been so many. <sighs> <laughs> I, I really am unable to, like, <laughs> I don't know how, whether to laugh or whether to, okay, there you go, <laughs> simple word. Okay, don't overreact, Shinji. Okay, there you go. Is he back? Finally, thank God. <laughs> uh, boy. Okay. Okay. Thank God he broke. Like and snapped out of it. I thought it would take a lot, a lot more time, but. Exempt from farming duties, huh? Hmm. No, fishing. Can he fish? Yeah. Uh, I think it's quite difficult to actually fish if you don't know how to. One one fish per week? Elk. Oh. Hmm. Wanderers. Oh. Hmm.
Yeah, oh boy. And it's so it's kind of green and so nice here, but outside it's like Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah Ray is fine, I think. What? Is she reading a storybook for her? What the? Whoa! Oh no, oh no! Oh no, what happened? Credit. Uh, but no, I that yeah. That's a what can I say? Like he's really involved in all of this that he cannot run away from this. It's going to come back for him, one way or the other. Oh. Well, his, his, his dad, but his dad is also the same. His dad also needs to talk, you know, like, like it, you need two hands to clap. <laughs> okay, anyways. Oh, what happened to Ray? Didn't something happen to her? Oh, did her... Oh, never mind. I thought her memory wiped out or something. Okay, nothing seems different. What happened? 
Oh, it's her. <laughs> oh, are they outside? Oh no, they're uh, they're inside. Oh, okay. Staff member. Who? Wait, who's this? Cut. Wait, what? Is he somehow related to? Yeah. What? D does Misato know? Oh, Misato knows. Oh, yeah, I don't think he's alive anymore. Yeah, oh boy. <sighs> oh. Yeah. At least, like he's he's now paying attention to his surroundings now. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Oh no. Yeah. Oh no, her... Oh no!
Wait a minute. So what actually happened? I'm guessing she was unable to. As she said, like, we. I'm unable to live outside nerve or something. So she wasn't able to survive here. Wait, what? That's what happened, or? Yeah, I oh boy. This thing is crying. Whoa. Um, <laughs> ah, that thing is not. Yeah. No need, okay. Oh, that's why, okay. Oh, finally he's, oh boy. Oh. Well, Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're not happy with the Oh boy. Hmm. Uh. Boy. <laughs> Losing faith in us. <laughs> Marius.
Wait, is the voice actor of Mari Maya Sakamoto? I'll have to check it out later on. <laughs> Boy. Oh. Wow, okay. Diverse life forms, yeah. It's, it's correct in a way because humans will be there, but... Okay. Oh boy. Wow, that's that's a really good thing that she said. Kami and Kami. Ah, uh, dear and God.
Oi. Ah, let's start Futsuki. Okay. Picture. Kensuke, send it to him, I'm guessing. So send it to her. Okay, here we go. Well, good news. Boy, <laughs> the final battle. Wow. Oh, oh, is this? Oh, my God. Oh, okay, that's why. Wow. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, he remembers. Who will let Papi? What? Ah. 
What's that? Okay, yeah, that's one thing, I'm sure. The responsibility. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right, here we go. Boy. Hmm. Okay. Wow, okay, look at that. All right, okay, that's why. Whoa. Okay, I think, yeah, they're here. Offer type system. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. All right, nice. Plus 30. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, both of them. All right. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> ramming into it god whoa look at them little yeah okay Okay. Below the up. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. All right. There you go. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah.
Okay, they're using it as a shield as much as they can. Boy, yeah, there you go. It blew up. Now they're going to fight. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Look at that! Animation is <laughs> boy. Okay. Oh. Cake! Oh no, oh no. Oh god! Alright. Boy. Oh lord, look at that. Oh. Wow. My god, the animation. <laughs> wow. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> All right, they're here. Okay. Okay, the first step accomplished, I'm guessing. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Boy. Yeah, there it is. Where is Shinji? Like, wasn't it supposed to be here? Um... Oh, oh, it's the AD field. So, what? Oh, no. Oh, God.
Yeah. And where is he even? Pulling back. Um. Oh. 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 Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, it's... Oh, no, and here this is going on. Okay, there, okay, here we go. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Yeah, she's going all out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh no! God! Oh no, it's a- oh boy! Oh, 
that was for that was that's why they did nothing and let this play out. Oh. Oh! Oh no, it took out. Asuka uh, Asuka's still there but the oh boy what the the hell is this Okay, oh boy. Okay, Shinji is... Artificial recreation. And there he is. Yeah. Okay. God. Mm, yeah. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. Ah! Oh. Un! Ugh! Okay. Oh! What the hell?
all of ancient life become a You will fight the ocean. Oh, okay. Oh. Letter. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Well, he doesn't listen. Well, dad won't listen. You need to show him, you know. Otherwise, this guy, yeah. Oh, boy. Ugh. Boy. Ah. Let me, yeah. Okay. Yes. <sighs> yeah, obviously, like this whole situation. Oh. 
Okay, come on, not this. Well, your captain is giving. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! What the? God! What the hell? What? <sighs> um Okay, you need first aid. Come on. <laughs> Um, is Misato okay? Like... <laughs> okay, thank god. Okay. Okay, daddy versus <laughs> son. So oh. We never did have this before, did we? In, the, in even in the anime. You know Ika Gendo Ikari versus Shinji? <laughs> yeah. No. Quantum teleportation. Boy. Yeah. You need an AOE attack. <laughs> yeah.
All right. Ah, well. Okay. There you go. <laughs> well, there's a reason. Whoa! 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 So that was that? <laughs> so that was the re Okay, well. Okay. Of the another reason. Well, that, that's the, uh, that's the main reason. Boy, like. Oh. Yeah, get in the robot, Shinji. Oh. Fuck. Ah. Yeah, right. You yourself is one of the biggest children in this show. Like, <laughs> Gendo. Like, like, I can kind of see where Shinji gets this. <laughs> Why? Oh. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh no, it got stuck. <laughs> the houses are like <laughs> The houses are sh shifting like it's some kind of a you know Toy. Okay, Betty Field. Oh, boy. Wait, is that <laughs> okay? Come on! Oh. 
यस परफेक्ट बैटलफील्ड ओके दिस इज फानी आर राइट कम ऑन अल्टीमेट बैटल इन अ क्लासरूम दिस इज आयन एमिंग रूम या वो Oh god Oh this is the Whoa 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 yeah Oh no, it's the village. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we should fist fight now. <laughs> And that also works. Additional impact. Oh. Ha. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh boy. predicted the existence of this ever okay ha oh. oh yeah let me oh is that how it
Okay, so that's how he's going to do it. Yeah. Well, hello there. Oh, this is boy. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're used to this, you know. <laughs> you get used to it. <laughs> Boy. Damn. <laughs> okay. Just like what? <laughs> yeah, it's just that this is true, you know. <laughs> God, someone needed to tell them this. <laughs> it's Karyot. Oh, what? Oh, wait. Okay. Oh. All right. Skip pods. <laughs> ah Oh Okay nice Oh! Haha <laughs> 
Wait. Wait, isn't she go? Isn't she going? Oh my god! What? Oh, I she knew that Misato will have to be there. God, so she doesn't get a good ending. Or maybe someone can save. I don't think so. This is Evangelion. This that won't happen. I was thinking maybe she would be saved somehow. God. I chose a world that you receive. That's the main reason. That is the main reason. Like, all the things that he said. That's going to happen, obviously, but his main motivation is obviously. Yeah, he says that he hates children and he himself is one of the biggest child in this show. Yeah. The AT field boy. <laughs> well, no, I guess not. Well, yeah, obviously. Like, what else? Like, all this time. All this time. Yeah, basically. Cut me off from the outside world. Yeah, that's the only time. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, was that the... Wait, who was that? The other girl. It looked like Mari, didn't it? The other girl. Oh boy. That's why I decided. Hmm. Oh. Hmm, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh. God. Oh. Ironic. Like, he himself is still unable to do that. Oh.
What? That was a. My God. Like, what type of reasoning is that? <sighs> oh, there you go. Like he was always chasing that one like you know Yui for so long he never even looked at Shinji properly and now at the end of the road he's realizing that Yui was inside Shinji obviously like it's her son Wait a minute, so Asuka was a clone here as well, like, like in, in the anime that was not the setting. So, am I mistaking something or I think that's what they're showing us here. Like, just like Rei, Asuka was also a... Like, correct me if I'm wrong, you know? Like someone told me that Asuka's backstory here is quite different from the anime. So I think that's what's happening. Oh, is that? <laughs> oh my god. So she knew it's from. Oh. Boy. Whoa. <sighs> <laughs> wow. Damn, the character development it went through. Boy.
Oh. Wonder is happiness to make you happy. Wow. <laughs> Commander. Interlinks humanity. First angel on which book. Okay, one thing I'm not understanding. So Kauru was Oh, Ray. Yeah. Okay, good. There you go. Neon Genesis, okay. All right, here we go. Oh. Is this Oh, okay. Nah, it's not. Oh god. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> the the changing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
There you go. This is a better way. Like all entities at the, at at once clumped together. What the hell? Like, <laughs> like it sounds all well and good, you know. Like there'll be no war, nothing, no sadness. But that will be just it, you know. Like there won't be any happiness, neither any sadness. You'll be in a constant. What do you call? You know, in a constant state. So. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? Whoa! Oh, is this Mari? Yeah. Oh, the color comes back. <laughs> Boy. Whoa. Wait, is that Kauru Re? Hmm. Oh. Whoa, her, his voice, what the hell? Damn, they changed! <laughs> Still sniffing him. <laughs> Whoa, Shinji! What the hell? Who is this, who is this guy? <laughs> what the <laughs> What type of a change is this? What <laughs> Boy, wow, that was something, man. Oh! Okay. <laughs> wow, oh my god. The last scene was something. I was not expecting him to be like that. Oh, what was the song? Is this a real? Yeah, it's, it's. It was animation and suddenly changed into the real world. Oh my god. Wow, this is cool. Boy, oh boy, this was a. <laughs> this was a movie. Okay. Okay, bravo, my god. Okay, if I had to rate this movie, I'll rate it definitely. Out of 10, I'll, I'll probably give it 9.5 or 
yeah 9.5 i think this is brilliant like in every way possible and obviously the what do you call it the build-up was going on from like the anime obviously we saw the anime how it ended it was obviously a different universe the anime was a different universe and this is like obviously another like you know another this is like a multi-universe thing that's going on so it kind of was same in the beginning but it changed from the second movie and like it's kind of like a different branch of a parallel, parallel world or something and there was a lot of different things in this movie from the beginning like the whole scene of misato showing shinji like you know uh the lilin and the whole section of um there's another i think major difference i forgot oh another difference was obviously the second movie where the ending you know where the near third impact happens and then it completely changes so obviously this is a branch if you like you know if you consider this like a multi-universe thing the first branch was obviously where shinji and asuka kind of ends up together in the end we see them in the like you know um in the seashore like both of them the last episode and here is like a different completely damn the song is So the last scene that we got, like you know, we show, like we saw, uh, that that's happening a lot later. I'm guessing, like, where Shinji grew up completely, and Mari is also, like you know, grown up. We can see that. Hmm. And as I said, like, you know, it's like a solid movie to end and this rebuilt series with. I really hope that I'm not sure if they're going to do this, like, you know, like continue Evangelion or something. Or maybe we'll have some kind of branching story again in the future. Hopefully they make more. But I, I think uh, Hideaki, I know, like, he, he won't, like, you know, he's, I'm not sure. Like, you know, I think I, I, think I heard that he won't be doing this anymore. I think she, he's retiring or something. I'm not sure. So... Uh, the chances are low i think and even if we get evangelion in the future probably it won't be the same like you know hidakan won't be doing it anymore someone else might pick it up or something i don't know but hopefully we get something i don't know because because it's like a, as i said like this is like a multi-universe a story what you call it multiverse i think you call it story so like you can you can you can you can, you can, you can take a lot of branches from this maybe like uh, make another universe where I don't know everything is happy <laughs> not depressing like this <laughs> boy the the depression that Shinji went through all like you know throughout all the three movies boy by the end of it he was able to break out of everything but <laughs> so you know maybe a, a, a universe where everything is like all happy and you know like all nice and everything and you, you remember uh, in i think it was um, the anime not the not the uh, you know the end of evangelion not that like the other ending where shinji is like you know like kind of constructs not constructs but he like you know okay like as i was saying you know, there's like a whole section where he dreams of a world where like you know he wakes up he's like in a rom-com story <laughs> you know like Asuka Ray and all of them and like in the end like everyone was like clapping at him and he was like like you know laughing like like I really love that ending as well like it, it really it, it's like an ending where it shows that anything can be the like you know future like, like Shinji is like the kind of like the god there because he can make anything whatever he wishes 
and like you know like <laughs> maybe some kind of multiple like you know parallel world like that where you know like everyone is alive and what's her name i forgot shinji's mom yui wasn't it yeah yui uh, gendo shinji they're all alive and shinji's like a normal boy he gets up <laughs> asuka comes and she's like baka shinji what the hell are you doing we are getting late <laughs> They rush to school. Ayanami, they meet Ayanami on the way. I think that's what they showed in that episode. You know, Ayanami, they meet Ayanami on the way. <laughs> Asuka is like... <laughs> like... This is like a whole... Rom-com setting with a, like, you know, like... Well, I don't know, like... I'd, I'd, like, I'd love to see that. So... <laughs> boy. And I think there are two visual novels of... um. Evangelion as well. I still have not played it. I I, I I will probably play it in the future, you know, on my own. Because I really want to see what that is about. I think it's called uh, The Girlfriend of Steel or something. It has, I, I think it has two versions. It does part one and part two. Yeah, I think that's what it's called, The Girlfriend of Steel. So, I plan on like, you know, kind of checking that out in, in the future as well. So, <laughs> boy. And yeah, so okay. Um, another thing. Let me know here. Is the backstory of Asuka here different? Like here we see, like at the beginning, <coughs> I was kind of confused when they were saying, like you know, asking, like you know, talking, like, like talking about Asuka, Asuka, like some kind of a clone. Like, you know, they're saying something like, uh, like you know the multi-series like you know shikinami series something like that i really was confused i but i did not pay much attention but then by the end when we see like you know so many askas at the same place and we see like you know there's like a lot of askas and like one by one they got get like you know cancelled out and in the end there's only two askas left that time i kind of realized that oh maybe the backstory of Asuka here is different let me know please because that that portion kind of confused me and i think that's what happened like in, in the original anime obviously asuka was a no normal girl wasn't he wasn't she and here i'm guessing she's similar to ray where there's like a lot of clones of her i think so let me know if i'm wrong or if that's what actually happened another thing i was a little bit confused here is what was the last section where kaji and kaoru were talking like I can understand that it was like some kind of like an you know, a world where you go after dying or something. But why was uh, Kaji calling Kaoru commander or something? I that that thing kind of confused me. Like I, I'm not sure. I properly sure what that was about. Like please let me know if there's like you know there's some kind of explanation for that. That portion I was kind of confused in the end as well. All right, that the end. <clears throat> Anything else? Um, what's happening? No, I don't think there's anything. Just a sec, the credits are still showing. <clears throat> so yeah, as I was saying, mm, so let me know that as well, the whole thing with uh, Kao. And otherwise, like, uh, except those two things, I, I don't have any problem with this, uh, like, you know, understanding this movie. Very simple it was. And most of the times, whenever I was kind of getting confused about something, then that's what you do for Evangelion. You know, if you get confused, you kind of keep it in your mind and let it go for that time being. You know, because like you know, as it goes on, you yourself will be able to kind of understand what's happening by the end of it. And I did it. Like you know, I, there's a lot of portions here when it was like shown. At the beginning, I was really confused. I was like, what is happening here? And then I like you know said that okay, like let's like you know, keep this in my mind. By the end of it, I'm sure I'm going to get some kind of answers. And I kind of got the answers by the end of it. And it kind of got cleared out. Okay, that really is the end. And, um, like, you know, like, even though, as I said, like, you know, this is Evangelion, obviously, like, like, 
everything each and everything i won't be able to understand also this is my first time watching it so i'm guessing if you watch it multiple times you'll be able to get more stuff but you know like it, please let me know if there's something that i should know some kind of backstory some kind of things which were kind of vague in this movie but you know which was uh like you know, which i should at least know if there's anything like that let me know and as i said fantastic movie the animation was like otherworldly like wow that was a real treat for the eyes and like that's the animation the story was fantastic as well the last scene was was really shocking to me i really did not expect shinji like that you know like that shinji <laughs> and look at him now boy <laughs> Like, he went through a drastic change and i i never would have if someone like you know if, if i before i should watch this movie if someone showed me that character and like you know told me something that like you know this is chinji I, I i would be like what the hell i was saying even like that that would be my like reaction but after watching this i could understand why like you know the, the amount of change that he went through the reason for it and also one thing i can say here is this movie definitely has the um, most character development that shinji could have ever gotten in all in the, in the whole anime combined and all in also in the, both the previous movies as well everything combined all the character development this movie alone not only this full movie but the later portion of the movie alone had even more character development than he got all this time you know even in the end of evangelion he understood everything you know like he he got a lot of character development but i think that it was still not enough but this movie really gave us the shinji that at least i wanted you know by the end of it and i'm really glad for that you know like like character development for shinji is something that i've always wanted and i never was kind of content you know even with the anime even with the uh, like you know, previous two movies I really was not content with the amount of character development he got by the end of it. It was fine, but I was still not content with it. But this movie provided that and I am really glad for that because here he really like you know goes through something and he he really comes to a decision himself and he has no more problems. I can say that. You know, especially after the ending scene. And that was fantastic. Okay, now one thing <laughs> I I should probably like you know mention this because this is another thing that I can see that a lot of people is going to talk about is the shipping you know like Asuka and like you know the whole thing that happened now um, like here's the thing you know uh when Asuka said that you know I liked you you know and I I grew up to like you know quickly and then like obviously she in the end also says that I like you liked you as well no like obviously that shows that they had like you know they were kind of attracted towards each other and we all knew that like you know even in the real anime that that happened and in the end of evangelion they kind of end up together uh, but it's kind of vague you know in a way because and i also checked out the manga like you know like and i've seen like the uh, in the manga i think the ending was a little bit different where i think like in the end uh <clears throat> like you know after the whole like scene happens uh they meet again like you know shinji and asuka like in 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 the normal world and i think in the train or something and asuka like you know asuka i think asuka talks normally with him and uh, like you know shinji kind of meets her for the first time something like that and they said that they'll meet again and they go on their own way but they're in the same city so i'm guessing they'll meet up again in the future so it, it, that was also kind of, kind of vague again in a way and you know so but here we get a clear cut ending and we also get to see that they really did kind of had like you know kind of were attracted to towards each other but as aska said like different circumstances and all and everything so now here's the thing i can see people here like a lot of people will obviously be mad at the whole like you know aska and not ending up with shinji together and if you like you know if you ask me um i'm also a huge asuka and like you know shinji shipper as well i was also one of them and but the end of the movie after seeing it i really don't feel that uncomfortable you know after seeing that they did not kind of get together and obviously mari is with uh, like you know shinji now like weirdly enough i don't feel bothered like i i think i like you know if if someone like i don't know like you know like i i feel as if i should have 
felt felt bothered but i really don't i think there's a few reasons behind it number one is the end ending really shows us that like you know mari and uh, like you know shinji are really comfortable with each other in in a lot of ways like the last scene you know the last scene was the thing that i i think that probably made me completely change my mind and i was like you know what this is fine you know this ending is completely fine asuka not getting together with shinji okay understandable like that last scene made me think that because that last scene was done so greatly like so it, like it was it was great that last scene where you know like mari comes in and kind of like you know um, covers uh, his eyes and says who is here and shinji <laughs> shinji kind of <laughs> pulls down the <laughs> spectacles uh, you know the, the glasses and then they like you know like go together and i think shinji was the one who actually took her hand and like you know was pulling her in the end just a sec okay yeah like she kind of like you know takes the thing off and like takes shinji up and then shinji kind of changes his position and he says that okay let's go and he starts pulling mari and you know that scene really shows that how normal and how immensely what can i say uh yeah normal you can say this scene is for them so that really shows that they like obviously it's, it's quite a long while after that you know they went to some kind of like, you know, character development as well they kind of i'm guessing they were together for this whole whole while and it really shows how they're normal with each other they're really comfortable with each other and that scene in itself made me feel like you know what this is fine you know he did not get together with asuka it's a shame but this is fine in itself as well i'm happy you know and i never think and i never would have thought that i would say this because i myself was a big asuka and shinji shipper so yeah like you know like as i said like you know if, if the character himself is happy with what's going on it's all well and good for them like you know if, if this last scene was not shown I still would have had this kind of a thing with me where I would be like, oh no, like you know, why did Asuka not get together with Shinji? I would I mean, myself would have that. This last scene completely changed my like you know mind, and it was done so well. I am really glad about that last scene. Boy, I'm talking about the last scene a lot. That that that's how much I really love that, <laughs> the last section of the like you know movie. So yeah, so as I said, like you know, it's a shame that Asuka and Shinji did not get up get together, but. I'm fine with this as well. It's good, and Shinji is happy. Mai is happy. Yeah, we as audience should also be happy for them. And Shinji got his happy ending as well. And also another thing, I think the major problem, you know, what people actually have about the whole shipping thing, is the what can I say? The vagueness that Evangelion had. You know, especially the end of Evangelion. As I said, it was really vague whether they really did get together or not. Like it ended in such a weird way. that people like you know were just like oh like did they get together people were like yeah obviously they get got together some people were like but it it like you know it doesn't feel like it like it, it's it's kind of vague in a way because like they ended in that abrupt way but here we can see obviously this last scene really shows us that yeah he really did end up with mari together if something like this was like there in the manga or in the original anime you know like where we see them actually like you know kind of uh, like you know like obviously shinji and asuka they're flawed individuals and like the hedgehog's dilemma they always hurt each other whenever they get together so like i've seen a lot of people actually saying that they they're never meant to be together but i i find that really wrong because like you know people can't change and i i like you know it would have been really great if they had an ending in the original anime where like it's just like this you know like uh, we get a little bit of a time skip and we in the end we see that yeah they're fine and they're good together they're doing well together you know if 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 the anime had an ending like that i think the most of the people who are really kind of like you know uh, not uh, what can i say not, not you know like very sad about asuka and shinji not getting together here most of them won't be like that because asuka and shinji also gets an ending together that would be but i think the vagueness of the whole askan shinji ship is the one thing that kind of drives people a little <laughs> bit <laughs> like you know crazy like the 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 shippers themselves are confused as to what actually is happening by the end of it and yeah like that's that's basically it i think in my opinion 
so yeah like hopefully i i'm not sure if we're going to get something or not in the future but you know like uh, i don't think we're going to get something like this in the future again you know like even if evangelion continues i don't think it will be a bit about asuka and Sh asuka shinji and them anymore maybe it will be some new story or something i don't know but if it really does continue hopefully we'll get something like that in the future where there's like a clear cut ending where we actually see them happy together like that type of ending so just like this ending you know this this movie's ending yeah that's the whole thing with the ship you know like this is obviously going to come up i know this like you know there's, there'll be a, a lot of people who will actually be mad about shinji and asuka not getting together now the, the main thing here is like why shinji and asuka did not get together here i obviously understand why because number one as asuka said that i grew up too quickly you know like she was forced to grow up she was forced to like you know discard not discard but <clears throat> keep the whole feelings in in the back seat and shinji was not there you know and like i'm guessing like you know like all this like time like, like went like you know they all this like i think 15 or 14 years yeah everything like continued and uh, now here like obviously in the end they kind of like you know tell each other that i yeah i really did like you but yeah, it, it was kind of a no-go, especially in this um, like you know movie setting where they like had barely no contact with them, like fourteen years, like you know something like that. But um, yeah, that that was the I think the main reason for this, and uh, obviously in the, in the main story that was not the case. Like, you know they were always kind of together in a way, and also in the end by the end of it they were also together. So that that would have worked out in, in that anime but for this movie it's kind of not possible you know because of that whole the whole uh, movie setting and uh, <clears throat> yeah and a lot of the went things went through their lives they had their own problems and all so yeah and uh, all right okay oh another thing i should have mentioned here i forgot to mention uh was mari somehow like, let me know was mari somehow related to the person who like i think i i noticed a, a girl who looked a lot like mari when a, like in, in the photo where yui and like you know gendo is you know like with a similar type of glasses and also in one of the flashbacks i think I kind of saw a person like that so let me know like you know in the and, and also another thing fuyutsuki knew mari so what was that about like, so was that like Mari's mom or someone like, you know the, the person who we saw in the pictures in the flashbacks and is that also the reason why Fuyutsuki knows him loves her please let me know in the comment section if it's something like that if Mari has some kind of a past setting and always like you know like I kind of felt weird about whenever I like you know <clears throat> like the, the whole setting where Mari was like you know I'm going to go and like you know bring you back uh, and you please wait for me Mari said that to Shinji like that whole thing also kind of felt weird it seemed as if Mari knew Shinji from a long time or something like that like that's kind of bothering me I think there is something you know some kind of relation between <clears throat> the Ikari family and Mari or something you know let me know in the comment section if it is if it's if it's just me or if there really is something and uh yeah and okay so another thing in this movie which we should definitely talk about is gendo ikari now gen gendo like, like as i said like always like here we can see that he himself has not matured enough you know everything that he did like he said like you know like he, as he said like you know he rejected everyone each and everything he rejected unless and until yui came in his life and after he lost yui like you know like he said something about like you know like uh, i did not look after you because i thought like you know what like that was that something that was my punishment or something like you know like having you was my punishment something like that he said like he he was okay, that was a really weird type of reason now i, I probably won't be able to f find it here now again because obviously this is a long movie I cannot find that scene currently but the scene where like you know gendo was talking with shinji and he said something like that you know like like i thought that uh, what like you know because of 
you know having you i lost you or something like that he said and <clears throat> he also like you know thought that he did not deserve to be his dad or something i don't know you know like these type of reasonings were why he actually but like you know like this 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 whole thing really made shinji go through the pain his painful past as well like you know he was a he was basically a child and you know a child going through that is not you know good at all and this this really shows how much of a child gendo himself is like you know he like you know he was basically dependent on yui that's what it was what it was you know he was so dependent on his wife that after losing her he decided to wipe out the whole <laughs> humanity like you know kind of condense them into one single entity so that he would be able to meet yui again like that that was the amount of dependency that he had on yui that's why you say you know don't be dependent on someone too much definitely be dependent on someone rely on someone else but not at this extent that like you know like that you could wipe up the whole world for that one person boy and <laughs> like like in the end obviously he realizes that whatever he did was completely wrong not especially the you know why like you know the the thing that he did the biggest bad thing that he did was neglect shinji and in the end he actually realizes that like you know he was chasing this whole like you know yui you know the, the imaginary like you know thing that he wanted to get you know he wanted to become uh, like you know uh, meet yui again and he did went to so much lengths to do that like the whole human instrumentality project like you know making the whole like you know all the consciousness into one all these things he did whereas yui was just there in front of him which was shinji shinji was yui's child so obviously yui in some way or the other was inside shinji you know like as they say like children kind of resembles their parents so like, you know like that's what like, he should have looked at the first he should have looked at his son first he should have tried to find his like, you know wife in his son because you know like he's his child in a way so without doing that he neglected him went on his own way like did the whole human instrumentality project and this is how it like you know happened everything ended up in this way in this horrible way and uh, yeah shame but like that's basically like the main reason for this was basically his own immaturity his own dependentness on yui and you know he himself was a big child and that's why he always says that i you know i don't like you know, hate children like this or something like that he always said you know and <laughs> what else to say ah <sighs> boy and by the end of it obviously he realizes his mistake and he realizes that instead of like you know doing so many things he should have just looked at shinji at least once which he never did shame and in the end we also see when shinji was kind of like you know sacrificing himself his mom who was also like a part of him like saves him and like he was like ready to sacrifice himself you know shinji in a way so like you know his mom who was also a part of him helped him and uh, yeah shinji gets an hap gets, gets a happy ending by that like you know in that process by the end boy oh and sad the, the the saddest part here is obviously like you know misato had to sacrifice him, herself ray is also no more and uh, you know like they they probably won't get like that's that's the shame here you know they won't get get a happy ending now like i it, it would have been like you know like misato is gone and if if the setting was like this that misato really had no one else left you know to live for eh, i would have been like okay like he is with kaji now you know in in the other world or whatever but 
he has a child you know like it's really kind of what can i say sad to think that i'm sure that, like you know uh, misato's uh, son would someday get to actually know that misato was his mom and i would have loved for them to actually like you know you know for misato to go and like tell him that yeah you i'm your mom i'm your mom and them actually spending time like a family because she actually had someone to live for and she died like that's one thing that i'm really sad about like it could have gone in a lot different way but another funny thing here like we actually realized when misato says that you know when we see kaji's like you know flashback misato says that uh oh like you know like uh, he like you know he like acted selfishly uh, even till the end and sacrificed himself save us leaving me alone in this world misato also did a similar thing here you know if you look at her and her child you know, to sa save the world she also sacrificed herself i know there was no other alternative i know that and i'm sure misato also knew that when kaji sacrificed himself but still it's, it's a human heart you know they they won't listen human heart won't listen even if it it knows that there is no other alternative choices it will still grieve for that one person who sacrificed himself for the greater good and you know that's the thing so that's one thing i'm kind of sad about because if misato at least if misato was alive she could have gone back like you know like, like you know, she and her son could have like you know spent their life together as a family that would have been good so that's one thing that i'm kind of sad about about for ray in a way um, i would have also loved if ray was also somehow able to survive but you know that didn't happen and uh, yeah that's also a shame but the, as i said like the, the main thing that i'm really kind of sad about is misato's death because she could have had a good future with his son uh, with her son they could have lived a normal you know family like live like a normal family in the future so yeah so was there anything else <laughs> also in the beginning like it was kind of cute to see like you know ray was kind of <laughs> learning how to do stuff you know like learning emotions and all ah, but just in the end for everything to be like you know for naught she, she had to like you know leave, go away and died in a way and uh, yeah but that also really helped shinji to actually get a grip you know and i think like the main reason why he was able to kind of get himself up and was able to settle himself like you know settle his heart was Ray because she really did not give up on him until the end every day she went and gave him food and all and you know by the end obviously like she like he needed that rough treatment from Asuka where she basically shoved the food down his throat and but you know by the end of it uh, Ray was like the main reason why he was able to kind of stand up again and yeah okay um i think that was it okay one thing i'm trying to f find out just a sec okay in the last scene You know when Shinji is in the train station, obviously we can see uh, Rei and uh, Kaoru, and obviously that's like some kind of a like you know not illusion but yeah in a way it's something like that. But I can see like Asuka is also here, or is that also like another? I'm guessing like you know it's like the main characters all at the same place. I'm sure that's also like a small little illusion. I'm not sure. Because we kind of got a close up at Kaoru and you know Ray, but Asuka was I, like you know Asuka was also in the side. We did not see that.
boy the last scene was a fantastic <laughs> the last scene was fantastic i love that part like shinji's change really shocked me <laughs> boy that was a way to end the show and yeah i'm i'm very happy with the way everything went and it's fantastic so that was it guys that was my reaction to evangelion uh thrice upon a time and uh yeah even the even though there's few sad portions obviously misato is no here no more ray is no more but all in all everything ended in a very positive way and like you know i, I was like ready to like you know for someone to die like you know like one of the main characters like i was ready for that because this is evangelion like anything can happen and i was really not expecting like such a good positive happy ending by the end of it but it gave us that happy ending i'm really glad about that shinji is like you know shinji has completely changed he's he's a real man now <laughs> you know uh, without like you know the, he, like he has obviously like you know uh, like his personality went to a drastic change as we saw in the end and yeah he can handle himself we can see that from his you know behavior and most probably mari was like the biggest reason for his change in personality because mari is so outgoing you know so i'm guessing that kind of rubbed off on him or something <laughs> boy so yeah i think that's what happened so yeah so i'm happy it was a great ending it was a good ending it was a happy ending shinji got a happy ending that that kid like you know who we've been following from the first episode always like, you know in in depression is finally happy and i'm happy for him so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to evangelion uh thrice upon a time if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out and uh so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching and okay one thing i should uh mm, mention here i usually like you know do uh, anime movie reactions every week on this day so next week i usually in the in the ending portion i kind of say what movie i'm going to react to the next week i think next week i'm going to start mm, uh, reacting to the movies of the L lupin series lupin 3 you know and i've heard that like obviously lupin has an anime and it's huge and like obviously i won't be able to uh, like you know it, it needs a huge amount of time and dedication to actually start the anime series but someone's told me that like you know you can watch the uh, movies it won't be a problem and i also watched castle of Cagliostro, so I, I did not have any problem understanding anything um, in it it was very easy to understand even though i don't know anything about lupin but you know so that's why like someone said that you can watch the movies you know it, it, it's very like you know uh, you, can, you can understand everything it won't be a problem so i'm probably going to start reacting to the lupin movies you know from the next week so i'm not still not like you know, completely sure if i'm going to do that but i might do that from the next week so that's one thing that i want to say to you guys so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with another anime movie reaction and let me know your opinions on this movie how you were you content or like you know how you liked it and everything let me now don't know down in the comment section and uh, yeah so thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day